the Attenborough Challenge. Um, he's made his career out of making Dennis Thatcher look very silly, but he's done uh, lots of difficult things as well. Um, he's an actor, writer, director, and he's also taught French in his time. Will you please welcome Mr. John Wells? <laughs> Jonathan, how are you, darling? <laughs> I'm fine. It's not one of our shanty suits you got on there, is it? A what suit? Or oh, shanty, the guy wearing it with no, the No, I, I didn't know. No, I was hoping. I, hope, I can't do that one. No, Can you very, do that? I can't. I wouldn't want to try it. It's a very no, smart suit. I can't do it. Law, ho, 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 while pulling lengths of tobacco out of my stomach. <laughs> well, I was going to ask you to do that later. I'm glad you told me now you couldn't. Yeah. You're back on our screens with uh, Rude Health, aren't you? Yes, it's a very exciting show about doctors. And we don't do that. We never do that at all. Doctors must see some very interesting things. Uh, they must do. Are you, are you, would you like to be a doctor yourself? Are you like a latent yeah. homeopath? Yes, I think I am probably, <laughs> deep down. I keep it pretty firmly in the closet. Um, but um, I was actually, I used to want to be a hairdresser and doctor combined when I was younger. At the same time. At the same time. And I actually got a teddy bear at home that I practiced on. It's still got little kind of nicks in it. Rather like your act you had last week. It was right. very much like my act. There's a lot of kind of doctor jokes around. There are, like for example, there's, I like that one with, with the um, doctor talking to the nurse and saying, uh, no, no, nurse, I said prick his boil. <laughs> <laughs> you, always, you, always, you always see those on, on um, Seaside Postcard. My mm. favourite one, there was a carry-on film. I think it was probably Carry On Doctor, strangely enough. And uh, I think someone said I sat on a bomb and he said rectum. So well, it didn't do him much good. <laughs> Very good. We have that joke in series uh, two, I think. Yeah. Um, there have been a lot of doctors in the news recently as well for kind of malpractice. There was the famous spanking doctor. Yes, I don't get any spanking, but I'm told in, in series two I'm allowed to do a bit of mild spanking. <laughs> and well. There was this double barrel doctor who went around um, referring to her senior doctors, all sorts of things. I mean, all sorts of well, all sorts of sexy stereotypes. She called him uh, an old puff and a uh, big fairy and various other things. <laughs> and I thought nobody talked like that outside our series, but apparently they do. <laughs> so it's based on reality then, even though you didn't know it. Well, it was reality imitating the series in this case. Now we were speaking about um, Dennis Thatcher, you, you imitate Dennis Thatcher and of course you, you write for Private Eye magazine. Bit, yeah. You do the Dear Bill page. With Richard Ingram, who I hope is watching tonight. Hello Dickie, love. Hi Dickie. <laughs> and uh, I spoke to Dickie on the phone earlier. Oh did you? Yeah, you said you'd run up. He did quite an amusing impersonation of you. Can you, <laughs> so can you give me any dirt on John Wells? And he, he said there's, there's too much lying around already. So That's right, yeah. There's nowhere. But Peter Cook, who we had on the show a few weeks ago, is called one of the founding fathers. He is, right? yes. I think he's, well, he's one of the early jokesmiths. Very funny man, Peter. Does he still contribute a lot to Prime He comes in occasionally and puts on this weird voice and appears to be under the influence of some strange creature from outer space and talks in a very peculiar voice and starts <laughs> making jokes like that. <laughs> <laughs> but they work that, don't they? They were that. certainly work for Peter. Um, you, you were in a successful stage for anyone for Dennis? I basically. did, yes. I impersonated the Prime Minister's husband for about 15 months in the West End. And didn't they come to see you? I think Margaret... Yeah, and they were driven. They were, the whips were taken out and the, the um, Corsican <laughs> twins, the uh, Saatchi brothers, beat them into the theatre <laughs> and beat us into the theatre and we were in a frightful confrontation and I could just see the old boy's glasses glinting in the <laughs> fifth row which rather put me off. Yeah, and you, went, you had a drink with him afterwards? Yes, there was a lot, lot of joking about uh, urine samples being mistaken for whiskey on stage. <laughs> so I was very cautious after. Did he enjoy the other? I don't think he did, no. He met me at the top of the stairs and said, uh, Thatcher. And um, <laughs> he, didn't, he didn't talk to me at all, but he did talk to one of the uh, actors. Nick Farrell, who was playing a policeman, and I think Do Dennis was under the impression he was a real policeman. And um, <laughs> he said, um, I can't tell you how much we admire you people. So he, Nick was very confused by this. <laughs> what do you mean, you people? Heterosexual <laughs> actors under the age of 26. <laughs> and uh, he said, well, you see, you get these fuzzy ones going on the rampage down in Brixton and places like that, word for word. And uh, he said, you chaps come and sort it out. And what happens after the peace has been restored, you don't see a television camera in sight, and I'll tell you why not, because all the media are in the hands of a lot of pinkos and closet Marxists. Which is probably well, true. Probably what probably, yeah, that's probably uh, roughly what he said. Roughly what And Dennis, if you'd like to send your writs to this address. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Chair of Richard Ingram's. Chair of uh, exactly. Uh, yes. I think he's right. And him. Do you feel much sympathy for your targets? Like, do you feel a certain affection for Dennis? Oh, he's a lovely man. <laughs> I'm sure he's a lovely man. I forgot to follow, I forgot to tell you that the um, Duke of Edinburgh, was talking in the House of Commons last week and he was handing out coloured condoms mm -hmm. and I thought you might like one of those. <laughs> oh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. And, um, that's this a is not, this is, this is a chocolate wrapper. Oh, is it? Oh. Yeah. I, I don't know how they got mixed up. Anyway, yes, that was um, personalised. I think I've um, something a bit larger than that. Oh, anything, John? Don't take it personally. Something all. for the weekends, though. Well, uh, yeah. uh, I think uh, we've run out of time, unfortunately. Oh, yeah. And uh, I don't think I want to use it anyway. Thank you very much, John Wells. Thank you very much. Yeah.
And uh, do we have the we have the news? We do have the Attenborough challenge has been.